This is one of the new UI UX designs I am proposing for the ticket vending machines of the New York subway. Uh, this is for New York City public transportation. And before I explain this design, let's first review the current UI UX designs in the ticket vending machines today. This is a ticket vending machine of the New York subway. Here we can see the current UI UX design in these machines. We can see that this is a multifaceted design, a design that requires customers to progress to multiple screens to get what they need. And uh, this type of design is the standard user experience in these machines. These machines have had this type of design since they, since they were introduced to our lives. And it's time to innovate. It's time to bring something simpler. This is one of the new UI UX designs I am proposing for the ticket vending machines of the New York subway. Uh, this is for New York City public transportation. And the way this design innovates over the current design in machines today is that this is a single facet design with a linear flow user experience that enables customers to seamlessly specify the amount of single rides they need, which is something customers can't do today. And Single facet means that the customer is never required to progress to multiple screens to get what they need. And linear flow means that the user journey of submitting an order always begins at the top and finish at the bottom. Instead of progressing through several screens, instead of having to progress through multiple screens to get an order, uh, the user simply has to progress his way down to the bottom of the machine. And I'm going to show you how simple and consistent this new user experience is. Uh, to buy an item, I simply select the language if I need to. I select the item I need. I specify the amount. I select the payment option. And ultimately, I submit my order with the buy new option or with the refill option here at the bottom. Uh, let's go with the buy new option. And now all I have to do is insert my payment, make my payment. And let's say that I have a card with me that I want to recharge and I want to put a seven day recharge on my card. And to do that, I simply select the item I need. So I select the seven day unlimited option here. I select the payment option and I select the refill option here at the bottom. And all I have to do is insert my card and make my payment. And this is how simple and consistent is the new user experience in the ticket vending machines of the New York subway. A key benefit of this design, as I mentioned, is that it enables customers to seamlessly specify the exact amount of single rides that they need, which is something customers can't do today. Uh, for example, if I need four single rides, I can quickly call, come to the machine select the item I need, specify the amount I need. Uh, this is something I can't do at the machine today because the machine only gives me the option of adding value to the card or the option of buying time-based rides such as seven days and 30 days unlimited. The current situation at the machine is that there is no way for customers to specify the exact amount of single rides that they need. The only way for customers to get multiple single rides is by adding value to the card. And the problem with adding value to the card is that customers don't always know the exact amount of value that they need to put on the card in order, in order to get the exact amount of single rides that they need. And the result is that customers end up putting less or more value than they need to. And the result is also that after customers use the card, they, they throw the card to the garbage can, not knowing that the card still has value. And this is a problem that needs to be solved. Another innovation of this design is that it is a multi-platform consistent design, which means that the machine can have this design and the, and the mobile application can also have this design. And the benefit of this is that users will enjoy the same user experience at the machine and at the mobile application. This is a modular design and modular means that there are many possible configurations of this design. Uh, let's see a few of them. For example, uh, we can have 
we can change this configuration to this configuration or we can have this configuration instead or we can have this configuration or we can have this configuration we can also uh, have a different configuration here with the call to action buttons here for example we can have this configuration instead or we can have we can also remove the payment module here so we so it look like this we can also go back to the previous call to action configuration with the buttons and these are some of the possible configurations with this design.